the end of the month I know right, with it all the time go <laughs> like I feel like 2019 has been zooming by so fast It's the end of the month and you guys know what it is It's June favorites! So I didn't actually do a favorites video last month because I actually didn't really have that many things that I wanted to include so I just thought you know why not I just wait one more month and see if I can find any more things that I like and include them in this month's video instead without further ado let's get started this month I've got quite a lot of skincare favorites because I actually managed to discover quite a lot of good skincare products over the last two months this is the Peter Thomas Roth water drenched hyaluronic micro bubbling cloud mask so you guys know how much I love Peter Thomas Roth I think I mentioned them a lot of times in my other favorites videos before I love their water drenched serum I also love all of their tub masks and this time they came up with this new micro bubbling cloud mask and what it does is when you apply it on your face it will start to bubble up and the bubble is like no joke kind of bubble guys it's like freaking thick and dense and I, I just look like I was a Santa Claus why I like this is because it's not like the other cloud masks where I feel very itchy you know like whenever it starts to bubble I feel like I can hear the bubbles but for this the bubbles are just so fine and they just almost instantly bubble up and I feel that even after you Using it, my skin still feels very very hydrated. Basically, it has a lot of hyaluronic acid inside, which is really good if you have dry skin. Honestly, for this product, because it's a wash off product, even if you have oily skin, you do need hydration as well. And I think this would be also suitable for oily skin people or you know normal skin people. What it exactly does is it really helps to just bring all of the water from within your skin to the surface of your skin and of course also help to deliver more moisture into your skin so your skin looks a lot more plump, brighter and hydrated after you use this mask. Another mask that I have been loving is this fresh deep hydration sleeping mask. This is a two-step mask so in there you have a cream and a gel formula. First step, you use the gel first to just apply a very thin layer on your skin. Then you will go in with the cream mask which is the second step to just lock all of the moisture in. I love this because I feel like my skin is a lot more hydrated the moment I wake up. It's also not overly wet. A little bit is all you need and you wake up to really nice hydrated skin. To be honest, I was also quite shocked at the price because it's not as expensive as all of the other fresh masks and I feel like for a sleeping mask, I think it's less than $90 or it's around $90 and usually fresh masks are like 100 and up so I feel that this is quite worth it. Next step, as you guys know, I just came back from Paris. I went to Avain with Avain and uh, I actually got to try a lot of their products and this is one that I tried. This is the Avain. Sickle Fit. Sickle Fit was something I gotta be honest with you guys that I only tried when I was on the trip itself because my lip eczema was flaring up like crazy and it usually happens whenever I take a plane so my lip eczema was just like off the roof okay so I feel like this is the best time that it's acting up because I have a team of dermatologists right before my very eyes and I would meet them for lunch and dinner so I was asking them like what I can use to try to calm it down without going to steroids all the time. So they recommended me to put a thick layer of Sycophate on my lips before I go to bed and that's what I did and honestly, usually with my lip eczema with steroid cream, it usually goes away in like 3 days. Without steroid cream, it would go away in like maybe 2 weeks or maybe even more and I'm like super scared that it will spread so that's why I always just turn to steroid creams. With their advice, I tried to stay away from steroid cream this time and I just used the Sycophate. Of course in the day, I would go in with lip balm. The lip balm that I'm currently using is the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour lip balm. If you guys haven't tried that out, you should because that is very very good. And at night I will go in with this. And my lip eczema completely cleared up in just 4 days. So that is like really 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 amazing for my body and if you have burns, cuts, rashes or anything, you can apply this anywhere. Another one is my Avain Tolerance Emulsion Extreme. I have been loving this moisturizer because it's very very lightweight and uh, it's just very hydrating and it doesn't irritate my skin. It's just really really good for people with sensitive skin so I just thought I would include this as well. Next up, I've got a bunch of sheet masks over here. So these are from Utena. 
I don't know if you guys are familiar with these sheet masks, but I've shared them in my haul and my favorites before. So, so these are the Premium Pure C Facial Sheet Masks and they are all really, really good and very hydrating on the skin. If I have to choose my favorite, it would be the blue box and the red box. This is the original one. This is the Golden Jelly Mask Collagen and this one is the Golden Jelly Mask Hyaluronic Acid. So these two are my favorites, but there are four ranges in the entire range. So we also have the rose one as well as the royal jelly one. It contains 33 grams of highly concentrated golden jelly collagen serum. Every single time, I just find that there's so much serum in there that it's super worth it because I can use it for a few more times after that. And I really like how my skin feels and looks after that because it just completely plumps up my skin. It's very hydrating. I can even use the serum on other parts of my body and it doesn't feel sticky at all as well. It's also safe for sensitive skin or and all skin types. I also really love the scent. It's actually scent of natural aroma essential oils. Lavender, Palmarosa and Geranium. If you like this kind of like very natural floral-ish scents, they smell actually really good. And you can actually get them at Downtown Donkey. You can get them quite easily actually. Next up, I have a eye serum for you guys. This one is a Longcom Advanced Genific Light Pearl Eye and Lash Concentrate. I really like this because it's actually very, very lightweight. It doesn't feel like a eye cream, it's an eye serum. So it absorbs very, very well into the skin very quickly. And I love the applicator. It's a metal applicator that allows you to just massage your eye very gently. It's actually very soothing and it's quite cooling on your eyes as well. So it helps to depuff my eyes, especially in the morning. So it not only targets your eyes, but it also helps to nourish your lash. I honestly haven't really seen much results with my lashes like growing longer or stronger or healthier, but I think these kind of things take time. So I'm fingers crossing that it will actually show significant results. But honestly, I haven't seen any bad results either with my lashes. So I'm just gonna continue using it. I really love the texture and I love like how it hydrates my eyes without it feeling heavy. Next up is a hair favorite. This one is Misen Sin. This is a Korean brand. I don't know if they're actually available in Singapore but if you go to Korea you definitely can find this in Olive Young. This is the Perfect Repair Hair Serum. It's very hydrating on my hair but it doesn't weigh my hair down and it's not overly oily as well so that's usually what I look for in a hair oil. Like I like I like it that it's repairing, it smells great but it's not too overly heavy. Next up, some makeup products. I have decided to include this again. I know you guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about the La Mer Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation but honestly, the past two months, this is the only foundation I have been using and I have been traveling with this foundation. I know it's freaking expensive, it's $190 but there's just something about it that just makes it look so nice on my skin. I really love the texture and if you have the money to splurge and if you're looking for a high-end foundation, highly, highly recommend the La Mer Soft Fluid Foundation. This is the Glad Lore Gold Primer. This is super expensive, another high-end product, but I feel like it's very, very worth the money because when I apply it on my skin, my makeup just lasts so much longer and it just looks very nice. It's slightly sticky to the touch, but that's also what kind of keeps the makeup in place throughout the day, that's what I feel. It helps to plump your skin and really just prep it for makeup. So it's something like a skincare primer. It looks like this and in there, there are little gold flakes that are supposedly anti-aging. I honestly don't know when it comes to anti-aging skincare whether or not it really helps you to anti-age because I feel like these kind of things are very subtle unless it gives you that very nice lifting effect. Many, many reviews, they all said that it really helps to lift their skin so maybe it does. This one is the Jalim Amino Deep Repair Algae Mask from Kose Cosmo Pot. I actually did a first impression review. That review is completely honest and authentic. I have never tried anything from this brand before and that was actually my first time. I have been using it ever since I filmed that video and I really love the 
deep repair algae mask is actually quite affordable as well you can find it in the drugstore and if you have very damaged hair if you have treated hair very frizzy or like unruly unmanageable hair or on days you want to just go for that very sleek hair look I highly recommend this it's one of the very very good drugstore hair masks that I've come across I've got three lipsticks this month the first one is the I'm Mimi stick I'm just a little bit annoyed with this because the cap keeps falling off so I don't know how many of you actually own this like four color crayon kind of stick I love this because it gives me a lot of flexibility in terms of what are the colors I want to use on my lips and I find that the formula also allows me to apply on my cheeks and also as eyeshadow so it's a very very good travel must have because all four colors are very complementary on Asian skin tones and I really like the colors and the formula of it it's very pigmented very easy to blend and I just think it's like a very very good travel must have if only the cap wouldn't keep falling out another one also from I'm Mimi I really love their lip products actually it's a Korean brand that you can find in selected Guardian stores right now this is the TikTok Tint Lip Cashmere in the shade 008 which is the one that I'm wearing right now I really love the color number one I feel like it's very brick orange color that is very suitable for a lot of skin tones especially if you're kind of trying to experiment with darker shades but you don't want to go in full on with a very very dark lip you can go with this kind of color that is slightly between like a coral and a brown and red apart from the color I really like the texture as well it is in this kind of click pen type it's very suitable if you're a beginner as well you don't really need a lot of skills to apply it it kind of dries matte looking but it doesn't feel matte on the lips as well and I really like it that it has a very blendable effect so if you want to create that very nice blended look around the lips this is the kind of texture that you should go for lastly I have my Bobbi Brown Crush liquid lip in the shade give a fake I think I mentioned this before in one of my favorites as well but I recently decided to bust it out again and I just remember how much I loved it so I just thought I'll include it in this favorites as well it is a very nice liquid lipstick that has a glossy lip gloss texture of course it's not as sticky as a lip gloss it's as pigmented as a liquid lipstick so that is what I like about it and this shade called give a fig is like just the most beautiful fig color that you can have so Okay, that's it from me this month, you guys. I hope you guys had a wonderful June. Let me know in the comments box down below what you did in June. What are some of the interesting things you want to share with me? What are some of your favorite products and things that you think I should try out as well? Let me know in the comments box down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't joined the fam yet. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!